Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, paint walls properly. There's a couple of uh, details that you have to pay special attention to, otherwise your walls won't be painted the colors that you're expecting. So I'm going to start off with a new file. I'm going to go to Architectural, hit OK. I'm going to set up a basic wall with a floor. give you a quick 3D view of that and hidden it's white if you go down here to visual style you can change it to shaded it's going to be gray consistent colors it'll be a different gray realistic it'll be a different gray so what do you want to do you want to change the colors how can you do that well this wall here is a basic uh, wall generic 8 inch so let's edit type go to edit here at the structure tab and then increase or insert another layer and let's name it uh, it's going to be a sheetrock wall basically so we're going to add a layer of um, drywall so let's put it in as a half inch and by category we're going to click on this right here and then start typing gypsum alright there it is gypsum wallboard double click this and you'll get a material editor. Now you'll see at the first tab that that's the gray that you were looking at before. So if you think, oh, well, I can just change this to red and it'll become a red wall, let's try it. Hit OK, hit Done, hit Apply, OK, hit OK, hit OK, and we'll see what happens. So this is our, these are our walls. Oops, sorry. Now if you change the colors, the shaded, it's red on the outside. Perfect. Consistent colors, it's still red. Perfect. However, once you get to realistic, it's no longer red. Um, what you have to do is you have to go deeper into the elements. So let's give that a shot. I'm actually going to swing these walls to the interior by hitting the space bar because the drywall is obviously on the inside. So select that wall again. Hit edit type. Edit. You're going to want to move this tab down. So you see the interior side versus the exterior side. So, what you're going to do now is on the gypsum wallboard area, hit that for the material editor to come up. Double click gypsum wallboard. And then on the second row here, it says gypsum board painted white. You're going to change that and then the color that you choose here is what's actually going to be uh, in the realistic settings so let's go ahead and make it a yellow wall hit OK but you also have to um, keep in mind that this is set up for a uh, gypsum wallboard painted white so we'll see what happens when we try to finalize it this way hit done hit OK hit OK again, hit OK, get a camera view here, so in shaded it's still red, consistent it's still red, and realistic it's still white. So obviously changing that to yellow wasn't enough, so let's try the third thing which will work, hit edit, Go to gypsum wallboard, double click that, double click gypsum wallboard, and then you're going to want to remove this image. So, what you're going to do, because this image overrides anything and everything that we've set so far in terms of the realistic view, you're going to remove this image. If you have another one to place, go for it. Uh, I currently don't. Eventu or, uh, right away, you see that this block changes to yellow, and that's pretty much when you know you're good to go. So go to gypsum wallboard up top and you'll see that it's still red and that's perfectly okay. Hit done, hit apply, hit okay, hit okay here, hit okay and you'll see right away that it's yellow. Our shaded is still red, our consistent colors is still red, 
However, our realistic is now yellow. Um, so to recap, you have to be able to delete that image or change that image if you're going to be using uh, gypsum wallboard uh, in Revit, simply because it comes predetermined that it's going to be white, uh, when in reality that's not necessarily what you want. Um, so again, gypsum board, painted white, just delete the image that's here. You can insert another one if you'd like. Um, it's totally up to you though. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the area below. Uh, if you don't, that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys.